politics watch this is sir p the esophagus is esophagine what a crazy week my unicorn business is clearly under threat my sales were low well last week seemed like the big big demo tried to take over the business tried to take over the market we could start off with News broke, say. The host speaker in some serious bang around. My dad's. And be with me now. I don't know you see them both in here My God. Marisa Dalrymple Philibert. Serious trouble. Never declared this. All kind of things. I was watching keenly. For years, the Integrity Commission. I'm talking about them before, but I'm telling you, say, uh, the body is needed. Uh, my only problem with them was uh, they never really have no teeth. Uh, they're like a dog, they're, they're a quote unquote watchdog, right? No, a watchdog has to have teeth. Uh, meaning, say, after the dog, say something, the dog's supposed to rush on and bite. Uh, what are you doing with a German shepherd? Where, uh, see something, uh, makes one nice. And when you want to go down, the teeth realize they're not on the teeth. Right, so I've always said, if we're going to have something like the Integrity Commission, and then we're going to unearth this and, and then we're going to shake up this, then right, they, they can't be going back to the same politicians like, here you go with information, punish yourselves. Right, that, that's something I was saying so. Right, but look like the Integrity Commission, right, even though they don't necessarily have the big teeth they're going to have, you buy it and do some real damage, it look like they've been training right, to throw some jobs right, because it look like you know, things are going on. I can't remember the integrity commission right, digging up so much dust. Right. I, I don't know, I mean, maybe if you go all the way back, but well, I can't think of any right, time period right, where right, they feature so heavily when it comes down to holding the government accountable to anything. Right, our politicians on a whole for that matter. Right, because as I'm telling all the time, right, your favorite leaders them take turn, chop the line. Right, when the one in a power, them chop the line, the one who not in a power act holy. Then when that one get in power, them chop the line, and the one who didn't have power start act holy and virtuous. Right, so let me see you need a body right, to keep watch of right, your favorite leaders them. But it got spookier because story broke right. Thursday gone I think that was the 21st right. Integrity Commission Director right. get shot that's strange when normally you said them people that get shot how are you going right. especially considering the climate uh, that was surrounding uh, the commission. When you got your man get shot, I said, hold on. And that was the director of corruption prevention, by the way, uh, Ryan Evans. Director of corruption prevention, pick up rounds. Uh, oh man, this looks spooky. It was reported that Mr. Uh, Evans was pounced upon shot in his arm and briefcase stolen and said robbery are the motive which you know is the number one fake motive for 87 by the way right, but, uh, let's play along here shall we okay so robbery is the motive and that's a random act of robbery now when we see the part of them say robbery man taking briefcase I mean, if you ask myself then right, People still like carry briefcase. Remember back in the day when time man used to have them Itachi. I say it name Itachi. The ghostly one. Right. You know all the pastor in a church. Step in. Well suit up with him Itachi now man. You know said the service have along. And by the way this took place. Uh, near them offices in New Kingston. If 87 can rob. Right, somebody and shot somebody in New Kingston 
right, and not get seen on the way to the robbery, during the robbery and after the robbery, no way in the Iron Man is safe. You see, that's why I'm telling you, all you know, you know, anti, you know, self-defense, anti, you know, legal firearm people claim say. With all you have to do is call the police, go. I'm wishing you the best. Because it's muddy, man. I get robbed and shot, quote unquote, robbed and shot in a new Kingston. And nobody na see nothing, nobody na catch nothing. The 87 get there, do it, and get away. Imagine people who live in a some far back of all part of Iron Man. Imagine some people who live in a all half an hour from the station. Who do I go call? Just think about it, man. No matter them telling them to just call the police and help you. Just nothing. Not even, not even an immediate arrest of the suspect, nothing. Yeah, let me say good luck to one still. As far as I'm concerned, I want to think. If it has something valuable, or right, right, they must send a message to integrity commission. Things got even spookier. When the media asked the executive director right, for the IC right, about the incident, and he says this. This is not, this is quite a loop. What's your thoughts on the shooting? You should ask the government that. Why, sir? What, what does it mean, sir? Ask them what that means. I'm going to have a staff meeting. We're coming from the hospital. Um, the incident happened probably about 10 30, and um, we went up to the hospital. These are some of our directors. Director Kevin Severson, the director of investigation. Director Craig Bersow, the director of information and complaints, and corporate services director. So we're just getting back in. I'm sure this came as a shock to you, sir. It's an attack on the information? No. It's not no. a shock? No. It would be inevitable based upon the environment within which we're operating. Has anything like this ever happened? No, but we have gotten veiled threats. So you have been getting threats? Mm -hmm. A lot of it is on social media. Our chairman actually spoke about it, on it. Yeah. Is there any consideration for security? Well, we have private security now. Is this formal? No, this is as of today. Yeah. Sad, sir. Sad. Thank you for talking to us, sir. No, I don't know about you, but that sound like him, I say. And the government run the program. No, of course, later on, the backtrack, I'm going to show the party too. But there's no other way to interpret this. If somebody asks me, who thinks the goat? I'm going to say, better go ask my stamp. Me mean, say, either him do it, or at the very least, him know who do it. I'm pointing you in the direction of the people in right, who are responsible or know who are responsible. Right, the message was cryptic. Remember, these are not the YouTubers like me. They're not going to say certain things directly. Right, these are public officials. You know, These are sophisticated people. Right, and right, they deal with things differently, especially publicly. I thought, okay, we're onto something here. No the integrity commission. Right. That's a real interesting. Change it change the name to the interesting commission. Right. It's a real interesting. But then Messi, the commission come back out and say this. And this is why the RGR. And I quote The commission sought to make it clear that neither it nor its executive director is conveying any blame on the government for the event. To the extent that is being suggested is not the case, end quote, the commission said. Now here's the thing. When am I going to say to the extent that is being suggested? Not the, case. the people can only work with what they hear. And the executive director said, ask the government. Anybody would think that. Right. I say, shine the spotlight over this, because they know what No, why would they know? How would they know? 
he goes on to state. It noted that there are a number of security related issues that the commission has been in communication with the government about. That still doesn't explain the statement. The statement makes it sound like the government see this is why when time I deal with as I said more sophisticated people, you're not gonna really get anywhere because it's like one minute it looks like okay, now we're going somewhere, now we're gonna get some info. But then it's like alright, you're yeah, walk it back, walk it back. Because the original statements don't match me as yes. RJ I go on to state right, that the police said there is no suggestion that Thursday morning shooting of the integrity commission director was part of a premeditated attack on officials of the agency. JCF will not have to stop it. If the JCF if the JCF want the public to take them seriously, they must have to stop with all them kind of statements. Sir. Because, see, what they're doing right now, they're cleverly doing the whole, well, there is no, this is like what happened when Nigel did. And you see, you see, big journalists, right? There was no evidence to suggest that what happened to Nigel has anything to do with what he was, what, right? See, this is how Iron Man makes no real progress. Right? Because, with them, unless there is video footage, or divine intervention, right, then can right, put two and two together. The mother tell us, well, until we see something, we don't have anything to work, so there's no, then can go, hold on, the integrity commission director gets shot in, in a very, in a time when the climate is very hostile towards them, and man take a briefcase and all that, something like that, okay. Right. At least put in, this is how JCF get taken more seriously for the public, right, say, we note that the Integrity Commission officials right, have been under threat. Right. So now that we see one of them get shot, we're going to right, explore every avenue to see if there's any relation. Right? And if something goes so, we make the public know. But when they come out and say there's no suggestion, it makes it sound like nothing happened to do nothing. Well, let me say the Commissioner backtrack. More than likely, them get a couple of calls, legal experts call them, and you realize what you're saying. These, these words could be libelous. As we know, Jamaica's very strict libel laws were not invented to protect the poor. Right? Were not invented to protect the handyman, the handcat man. It was invented to protect right, the, the middle class. It was invented. Jamaica's very strict libel laws were designed to protect the elites. Right? We know what can ever say not more than at least not publicly. So people afraid right, of the legal side so they can answer certain things. Right? A country that has so many weak laws right, when it comes down to murder and anything, they have some of the strongest laws when it comes down to libel. I'll sue you! Right? They make sure they make sure make them lie strong so you can't ever right, call out the big beats and answer certain things publicly. So, look like they get some legal advice. You know, the executive director probably settle down now and you know start walk back some statements. And at the commission I speak to him by the way. Many minutes him come back out come out matter. They might talk to him. Yeah. But these are serious statements. The government having knowledge of or ordering an attack and a corruption watchdog is a hangable offence. But it's not. But it should be. So, remember the boss in the end. Right. Uh, Miss Dal Rimple Philly, Philly Bird. So, she was under the spotlight heavy before the shooting. Right. She had broken her papers. She resigned as MP after the madness started up. That's how my nose things really spooky. How often they say MP resign? Remember, George rang literally lip on camera, right? A treating woman like WWE. You know, the man turning a right, stone cold Steve Austin. Right? I never resign. Right? Iron Man MPs don't resign. They can't catch in our room, right? With a baby head in their hand and their mouth full of blood, they not resign. So, Mr. Chicago, I resign, I thought. Now this is spooky. 
That's how bad things are with Ironman politics. When an MP do the right thing, you can't even trust it. Because this is the right thing to do. When somebody does something, they get caught in them kind of scandal, yeah? this is how it works. Like, you step aside. But because them things didn't happen to Ironman, then they just step aside. We're even more confused. And I feel I wonder how I walk on. She's walking away from her rules, my host speaker, MP. Normally they say, well I haven't been convicted in a court of law and blah blah blah. End of the day, them things have to go start one. This idea, this big question in about should we mention the politicians who are on investigations when there hasn't been, that standard does not apply to the normal man in the street. The normal man in the street, you know, wait till they get convicted. From, you get this call pay name, Right, they get put out there. That's how it work. Politicians should be treated exactly the same. Right? I don't know why they held to a different standard. Why them get to wait until investigations conclude. And that's how it work. Because when we say 99.99% of the time, investigation, now I go find them guilty or nothing, and punish them or nothing. So that means they now go you nothing. Right. I'm saying the artist them on both sides of the bench, I talk about, yeah, we, we need to wait until now. That not apply for normal man in the street. This is a case of rules for thee, not for me. And I saw this work. Now, when MPs resign, you know, it triggers a by election. You know, unless they wait until the next election for officially set down. But if we want them to resign and the seat is there, you know, you might have a by election, which are costly. And risky because you might lose the seed. So it's a big decision to step down. And for what she has stepped down for, let me say, man get catched much worse than a step down. So I'm going to this spooky, right, beyond all measure. We don't even know 20% of what we're going to say. Miss Bosinium, right, right. whatever I make her really resign, it's serious. But it not done. I never know say one week and I spoke so. Still I don't know. Then we got here say the same house speaker, law offices got robbed. Law office and by the way, there's a there's an abundance of lawyers in the House of Parliament. Which is ironic considering how weak and pathetic Jamaican laws are when it comes down to the things they don't care about. Because we know the things that we don't care about. Right, them straighten up them laws. Right, but there's way too many lawyers in the house of parliament. Right, Mr. Them thing that come from the old time days in Jamaica when the only two people who have sense were doctors and lawyers. And every Jamaican forced them picnic to turn doctor and lawyer because they think right, that's the ultimate symbol. Right, say that's money. Right. If you have so many, I can't think of any government where I don't study world governments and the professions of the MPs. But Iron Man, if your country is full of so much lawyers, you don't think our laws will be the best ever. Right. One bag of lawyers, right, and the world of them combined be able to make one. Right. Can't write a decent law to save themselves. Everybody a lawyer. Right. Law, 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 law. Right. Everybody a lawyer in our country will basically act like it lawless. The irony. But this one right there, sir. Is where me draw the line. Even as somebody who sell you in the country you're living, I have to draw the line right there, sir. Rob the law offices uh, of Miss Bosin. Yeah, that one there are unique on me. Uh, now we can't even pretend. Right. So, so, so this is a unique on me. Like the other things we can be like, okay, well, maybe and Suppose and yeah, this other thing can me get robbed. It's a cash, jewelry, and an electric gadget. Even the most cocaine of cocaine. Now I rob the law office of the whole speaker. Smoke screen, smoke screen all day every day. Every people have to start using them brain more. Right, Mister mentioned about the assailant took money and jewelry and nobody was hurt. Of course, nobody was hurt. It's a stunt. I see this is what happened, right? When the people, right, Ironman people, right, allow their reputation right, to be built entirely around being court jesters. Because people stop taking it seriously. 
and people come up with ridiculous stories like this and give it to you and expect you to accept it. Right. At all the man, this man, oh, I know where I'm going, I'm going to go rob. The law offices of the House Speaker and the MP. Right. And we're supposed to buy this and cut the crap. But that's what, let me leave that one out of now. Because... I uh, need to go like, I need to go check for me when I can. And this is just too much for me. I can't handle this. It's just too much. Hey, thanks, squad. Big up on yourself. Yeah, you don't know. More life. Ultra squad. See you, sir. Bless.